Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you some basic features of Simatic Machine Monitor on Mindsphere. Machine Monitor is a maintenance and service organizer application that helps to increase machine availability and perform more service and better service planning. Let's have a look what's inside Machine Monitor. The welcome screen contains the asset structure of all your connected machines, like already known from other Mindsphere apps like Performance Insight or Energy Manager, just to name a few. The special thing about Machine Monitor is that you can filter the asset structure for machines that require service in the next couple of days. By clicking on the alarm sign, I apply the filter to only show machines with urgent maintenance demand. Here in our DigiDemo tenant, we have configured some intervals for the most critical machine components. I switch to machine number 2 that represents a handling machine in real life and can see that both of the monitored components require service. High time to get into the groove! Service intervals, by the way, are freely configurable for basically every machine component. I would recommend to only configure the most critical machine components. Machine Monitor allows to define intervals by time. This can be either a fixed calendar date or a certain period. Or you can define them by machine usage, like the traveling distance of a linear rail or the number of valve cycles. Machine Monitor keeps track on all of them to inform and warn operators and service technicians if there is an upcoming maintenance demand. Now let's see what machine number 2 wants to tell us. The best way to find out is to have a look on the detail page. It looks like the handler axes have exceeded their travel distance long before the time-based trigger got active. This is because the machine was more heavily loaded than originally planned. So far so good. But Machine Monitor is more than just a service trigger. It also provides the necessary instructions to perform service. In the configuration, it is possible to add a short description as well as whole documents the machine builder provides. For those of you who have spent hours in searching instructions and documents, this is a huge relief. The short descriptions, by the way, also give you a rough estimation how long the action lasts usually. Perfect basis for service planning, right? But what if I told you that there is more in? Something that is often forgotten or missed on purpose is the documentation of a service task, because usually the next machine is waiting to be maintained. Once you finish the maintenance task, simply click on Register Maintenance and you will be guided to the registration form. Nearly everything is already pre-filled. Who was doing the service? when was the service, which components were maintained, what was their status, and all of those information. You can upload documents like protocols that have been created during the routine, as well as add comments on unusual events or used spare parts. With the final click on Submit, the documentation is done. All within a few seconds. Ready for the next machine! By the way, if you are afraid that you have to get through the asset list every day and check the machine status, with Notifier, another Mindsphere app, you can receive push notifications once a service limit is about to exceed. How to set this up, I will tell you in another video. Back on the overview page of Machine Monitor, it is indicated that service for handling unit number 1 was successfully performed. And that's basically how machine service is triggered where to find instructions and how to document your actions. I hope this little tour gave you a quick overview of Machine Monitor, the digital service cockpit. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.